Hey, hey, Chuggy here. And uh, I was just on YouTube. I was watching a video. Uh, wrong way. Uh, got himself a electric car. And he's using that in combination with his electric unicycle. Well, uh, 10 days ago, uh, I got myself an electric car too. And uh, I just made a trip with my electric unicycle and I thought I'd uh, uh, give my uh, perspective on the subject. This is my new uh, electric vehicle. It's a Tesla Cybertruck. And uh, I just got back from Colorado. I, I, I went up there and uh, did a week of camping and electric unicycling. And uh, I'm gonna open the front here. And in the front is where I keep all of my gear, my uh, boots for riding, uh, air pumps, got two of them. And uh, these are like uh, bags with uh, tools in it that I carry when I'm riding, chest protector, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards. These are like butt shorts. And anyway, it uh, all makes it up here with some room to spare in the, uh, in the front of the vehicle. Close that back. And inside area where I'm driving, uh, room for uh, backpacks and stuff in between the seats. Both seats available. And uh, the back seat, uh, the back seat folds up and I uh, have this little air mattress that I put in between the back seats. So it made a, a nice place to lay down and sleep and camp in while I was uh, out on my uh, electric unicycle trip in Colorado. And at the back of the truck, uh, raise the tonneau cover and uh, lower the tailgate. I've got my uh, happy uh, veteran Lynx electric unicycle that I was uh, riding on the Jeep trails in Colorado. Here it is, it's all tied down. There are uh, four, one, two, three, four um, tie down points uh, in, in the back of the vehicle. Uh, and I, I use these uh, cranking straps and it really secures uh, the uh, Veteran Lynx electric unicycle nicely when I strap it down this way. In fact, my uh, sister was just here and uh, I gave her uh, a, a demonstration of the uh, beast mode uh, 2.6 second zero to 60 uh, acceleration with the uh, links here in the back and I wasn't worried about it because it was uh, it's uh, tied down very securely and over here I've got my uh, EV or my charging our uh, outlets I've got uh, both 220 and 110 volt and I can use that with my uh, happy Roger charger here to uh, to charge the unicycle on the road, which I was uh, doing in Colorado. By the way, just for comparison, um, that is my uh, old uh, truck. It's a 2008 Toyota Tacoma. It's been a good truck. It's seen a lot of a lot of trail mi uh, miles. Got a winch on the front, but uh, in the bed of the Tacoma. You only have these two uh, tie downs on the floor, on the bed floor at the very back. The rest of the bed floor, there is no, uh, no uh, tie downs. So, uh, you know, you're just depending on these tie downs on the, on the rail walls. And it was like really kind of difficult to secure the, the unicycle in this bed. Uh, to, uh, to whereas, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, very stable the way it, uh, the way it is secured uh, in the Cybertruck. One last thing, just for giggles, there is uh, underneath this uh, bed mat that I bought cheaply on Amazon, there is another storage compartment down here. Keep my Tesla chargers in it. And uh, you can actually use this as an ice chest too. It's got a drain and you can, uh, and it's insulated. And rubber, rubber seals here around the edge. So uh, yeah, if I, if I wanted to carry uh, cold food, I could still do that and have my unicycle tied, tied down uh, and in the bed with uh, room to even put more stuff. So uh, I'm, uh, I, I had a great trip in Colorado, uh, rode up the uh, Jeep trails on, uh, you know, to like 11,000 feet where the ice and snow was on my unicycle. 
Uh, got a lot of love uh, when I was in the stores and stuff. I really wasn't worried about my electric unicycle uh, getting ripped off because uh, this is like uh, this is metal. You can't just cut this with a knife. As a matter of fact, you, they say a 300 pound guy can jump up and down on it. And uh, so, uh, and it locks and I, I uh, feel like my unicycle was pretty uh, secure back here in the back of my uh, electric vehicle, Tesla Cybertruck. So yeah, I had a, a really good experience. And uh, if you have an electric unicycle and uh, have the means to get yourself a Cybertruck to go with it, uh, it's, uh, it's worth it. Chuggy out.